Hey there, my name's Chad, and this is a lesson from my Illustrator course. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks. In this lesson, you'll learn about the Rotate tool as well as the Reflect tool in Illustrator. If you want to go ahead and follow along, open the support files decorative.ai and superhero.ai from the support files. And when we use the Rotate tool, some people might think, well, why do we need that tool? Can't we just go to the Selection tool, select what we want to rotate, hover over a corner, off the corner a little bit, and click and drag, and hold shift for 45, 90 degree, and so on angles. That is true, we can rotate it that way. However, the rotate tool gives us a couple more options and customizability. So you'll notice when you select something with the selection tool first, then select the rotate tool, you'll see this little thing in the middle here. This is a rotation point. So by default, if I just click and drag anywhere, I don't have to go right off the edge. I can click and drag anywhere here in the workspace and it will rotate it along that axis basically, along that point really. So what if we want it to rotate on a different point? What we can do is just hover over this and click and drag it over. And now it will rotate around that point. So you'll notice the difference. Now it's rotating around that point instead. Uh, another way to do that is if you hold on to Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and then just uh, it turns in this little it has a little minus sign next to it the cursor if I just click it resets the point there you could click over the original or there and then it brings up this rotate menu so now we can really set a specific angle it has preview you can copy it uh, or you can just hit OK just to rotate it and not create a new copy so it's a little bit more customizable a couple shortcuts if you of course we know what Alt or Option does. If you hold on to Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, that toggles it to a selection tool where we can click and drag and move it around. And then as you're rotating it, if you hold Shift, it will constrain it to specific angles. So what's a practical use for this? Well, I'll show you. If you go to File, New, just create a new document. I'm gonna create a leaf design here. So if I click, click and drag with the pen tool, and then I'm gonna click to reset the angle there click and drag it back over okay so I've got a basic leaf here so if I wanted to rotate this I could use the selection tool right and it would select it but it's rotating it just from the center what if I want to just rotate it and have the rotation point be over here well choose the rotate tool and I'm gonna alt on the PC or option on the Mac and click right here so it resets the point here and for angle let's do it needs to be divisible by 360 degrees, so I'm going to do 10. And so you can toggle the preview, and you'll see the before and after. I'm going to actually click Copy. And then I'm going to press Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and press D. Or you can go to Object, Transform, Transform again. So if I do that, and just hold on to it, it creates this spiral pattern here, a rotated pattern. So that's pretty cool. That's one application of it. Uh, of the rotate tool. Uh, if you click and hold onto the rotate tool and go to the reflect tool, this is a little bit different. I need to select all of this, so go ahead and open up superhero.ai. I'm going to click and drag around this person and I'm going to hold shift and click the background so I deselect the background. I just want him selected. Now we could, of course, rotate this. We could click and drag it so it kind of reflects it, but we don't know if it's the same exact width. I could hold shift and it would actually flip it like that. I can hold Alt and it will just expand from the center. But what if we want just a specific reflection, the same exact width? I'm going to press Control or Command Z to undo that. So once you have them all selected, click and hold onto the Rotate tool and select the Reflect tool. And you can click and drag and it just reflects. If I hold down Alt and click over here though, it will actually reflect it at a specific angle so you can actually customize it or you can just say horizontal or vertical so vertical would be 90 degree angle and click copy and then you can create a copy as well so then I know it's the same exact width so you're not kind of stretching it out or make them too small so it can be pretty useful as well not just with one object but as we've shown here this is a bunch of objects put together you can have a bunch of shapes and you want to reflect it on the left hand side or the right hand side you can select them all and then select the reflect tool 
And again, just hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and you can enter in a specific value. So that's the Rotate and the Reflect tools. I hope you learned a lot about these two tools. Just uh, practice with them, and you'll get better, and you'll see the different applications where we would use those when you want to rotate something, maybe create some kind of pattern, or even rotating something along the middle. Like if I use the Star tool, it kind of a burst. Hold Shift so it's level there. And then rotate, and I'm just going to Alt click right in the middle there. Same kind of thing, copy, control D to repeat. And you come up with some pretty cool patterns. So there are a lot of different applications for the Rotate and Reflect tool. I will see you in the next lesson. Hey there, my name's Chad, and this is a lesson from my Illustrator course. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks.